Which one of these two Traxxas vehicles to get? We have a Rustler 4x4 VXL or a Traxxas Haas 4x4 VXL. Well, uh, this one is going to depend on your preferences really. So both of them are essentially the same vehicle. Uh, the Rustler is just an LCG version of the Haas or better yet, uh, the Haas is just a full monster truck version of the Rustler 4x4. They're really the same vehicle. Uh, parts are interchangeable. So what are the differences? Well, here you're going to have this LCG. Think about it this way. If you remember uh, the Traxxas Rally, this would be the Traxxas Rally. This would be the Traxxas Slash version, if you think about it that way, from back in the day. The original Traxxas Slash four-wheel drive had a high CG chassis. The Rally just had an LCG chassis and had a Rally body. This is essentially what happened with these two vehicles. So they're basically the same vehicle as far as suspension, uh, all that good stuff. But this one has an LCG chassis, which means that this one's going to be more stable taking turns doing things like that. This one is more of a monster truck though. Uh, you're gonna have the higher ground clearance, whether it matters or not, maybe it will, maybe it won't, uh, possibly. Uh, but you can take the body mounting system and the wheels and tires off of this one and then you can turn this one into a monster truck. Uh, or you could take this chassis, this setup, uh, well, I mean, not really, uh, because there is going to be a difference here in the hubs, just like the 4x4. So here, let me show you in one of these pictures right here. So if you look at this, this is going to be the difference. So this is what's going to prevent you to from doing a just a clean straightaway swap. But if you look at the older versions, it's the same thing. So there's going to be a few more replacement parts. But if you want a Rustler High CG, just replace the wheels and tires body mounting system. If you want a Haas LCG, just replace the wheels and tires and body mounting system, bumpers everything onto the other one. They're essentially the same vehicle uh, with those minor differences. Again, think of the original slash four wheel drive versus the Traxxas Rally. Uh, eventually, Traxxas just ended up doing the LCG on all four wheel drive slash vehicles. There was no point in doing the high CG in that vehicle. Uh, now, if we look at some of these features, so this is the Rustler. Uh, so notice the suspension, it's the same, the same suspension. Uh, a side recommendation, this is uh, get the GTR shocks. Uh, these shocks are not very good. You are going to blow the caps off if you do high jumps, things like that. Uh, just do yourself a favor and uh, get the other ones. Now, uh, here we go. That is one of the differences too. So if you look at these, these are going to be the extra, extra long. Uh, these should be the long, I could be mistaken, versus these, you're going to have the short ones. I believe these are the same length as the Revo uh, Slayer or Revo 3.3, and these are just long. So there is a difference in the shocks. Uh, but again, that's because this one's more of a monster truck. Uh, this one's going to have the VXL, uh, which is the uh, capable 3S capable. It's 3,500 kV. This one over here is going to be a 2,400 kV as of this video, uh, and it's 4S capable. So this one you're going to get a lot more torque with that higher voltage. That's something to also keep in mind. Uh, between this one and the other one. Now, both of them, you can self-write and uh, you, you know, just go forward reverse if you have to do it that way. Let's just say you replace the transmitter. Uh, so that's something you can also do. So as I mentioned before, they're really the same vehicle. I mean, if you look at these components here, arms, they're essentially the same vehicle, uh, just slightly different parts. Uh, shocks, 
uh, chassis. This is the LCG version. This is the high CG version, so high center of mass. Uh, you could replace the bumpers if you wanted to. So which one of the two should you get? Get them both. Uh, if you can get them both, get them both and try them out. Now, as of this video, these are Traxxas prices. Keep in mind, these are subject to change. This one's $430. This one is $480. Uh, the difference between the two is $50. For $50, you're not going to be able to get a system that is comparable to this. The best thing you can do is you could get this, for example, and then sell this as a takeoff, perhaps, or maybe you have a friend that is interested in this, and then your friend will give you, I don't know, $100. Then you have 150 to play with, and you're still gonna be a little short. Uh, so out of the box, this one's going to be better. Uh, if you're looking into spending a lot more money, then get this one and upgrade the system. Uh, so what would be my choice? My choice between the two would be the Haas. And the reason why I would choose the Haas is because the Haas is a monster truck. It also has the high CG. Now, why would I be interested in the high CG for stunts? Because the center of gravity is much higher whenever um, you, know, you hit the throttle or hit the brake, this is going to react a lot more well, especially popping the front end up or doing wheelies, this is going to be more reactive than this one. Uh, the reality is that if I, this is just me, if I were to buy one of these two vehicles for bashing, I would want all the looks and stunts that the Haas has to offer over the stability of the Rustler. So again, Rustler, very, very stable. If you're planning on racing your buddies on dirt, well, get the Rustler. Uh, if you're just wanting to do stunts, get the Haas. Uh, that is the reason why I would pick the Haas. Plus, this one actually looks like a truck. This one looks like whatever a rustler looks like. Uh, not quite a truck. I don't know. I've never really been able to figure them out. Uh, but, again, that would be my choice. They're both very good vehicles. Uh, you're going to be happy with either one of them. But if you're really looking for a true monster truck, well, as true as it gets for this price point between the two, there's other monster trucks that you can get for this price. Uh, we're not comparing those. But if you want a monster truck, let's face it, this one looks a lot cooler. This one looks like an actual monster truck. And this one's going to act more like a monster truck. Versus this is something that's just calling itself sort of a monster truck, but it's really aimed more at handling. Uh, again, both very good vehicles. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. My first pick, Haas. Second pick, Rustler. I hope this was informative or at least entertaining. Uh, please comment below what are your opinions. Uh, please subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,